Hello everyone, um, today we're going to Manila Zoo and we're, I'm here with my special guest Ed Ong as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to Manila Zoo with them as our special guest. So do you have any message? Yeah, so good luck for them. <laughs> Hello guys. My partner. <laughs> we are Gio and Gio's Crazy Saturday and we are now headed to one of our first destinations, Manila Zoo. There we'll be able to see different animals that you might have not seen before. Buckle up and grab your snacks as we are going to explore the entirety of Manila Zoo. Hopefully. My favorite tower, quadruplet tower. May makikita dyan airplane ka. May airplane dyan eh. May makikita mo may airplane. We have arrived in Manila Zoo and I'm really excited to see and look at the different animals we are about to encounter. There is also this huge elephant in the entrance. I'm really hyped. Yeah, as you can see, it's like big. It's it's big elephant. Oh my god. So, we got our tickets. We got to go to Manila Zoo, baby. We got our tickets and we are going to enter Manila Zoo. As you can see, I'm really excited. So, Everyone, we're now here at Manila Zoo. You can actually see the different wonderful um, a a a aspects of uh, buildings. Architecture, bang! So we are now at the apex predators of nature. And there is a white tiger there, which is to be believed the Siberian tiger or Panthera tigris alteca. Fun facts about these tigers are that the male can grow up to 3.7 meters while the female can grow about 2.4 meters. There were also capybaras. I did not know that there were capybaras or I think I just I did I just didn't see on, on the Manila Zoo page. They're they're not moving, they're like statues. I wanna go see some African bullfrog and the rattlesnake. I mean like uh the uh what do they call that? Uh, the, the ball fighting. I really wanted to see the African ball fighting. Ostrich. Description. <laughs> ostrich are cool. That's an ostrich. Incredible form of life. That is an ostrich. It's moving its neck. Deep throat. We also got to see African lions and we only got a photo of it because um, when it was filmed, he was hiding. So anyway, these African lions are big eaters and the female lions are the main hunters of prey while the male lions are the guard to protect the pride's territory. We also got to see the Philippine deer. That's a Philippine deer right there, I'm not lying. Yeah, well, there's a Philippine deer right there. Um, the Philippine deer during the mating season. Um, uh, the Philippine deer during the mating season usually fight in order to win their beloved deer wife. It is also vulnerable. It's a it's a vulnerable deer species that is endemic to our country. So these guys are really like um, extinct somewhat, but you ne you never really see a deer in uh, the outskirts of the Philippines. So these guys are really rare. We are now going to see some birds, birds, birds that fly, birds. I'm real hyped, I'm hyped, I, I want to see some birds. Wild Ong appears next to a bird in a cold kite. As you can see, it's disturbing its peace. The Ong walks away. Get the eagle. We also found the green imperial pigeon, feel free to pause, and the Palawan peacock peasant with the H on it. That's a peacock by the way. There's also this goofy looking chicken thing, but it's not a chicken. If you wanted to see more photos, there's um, a gallery on our website. Check it out. Burb. Burb. Hey! Ape six. <laughs> Ape six. We are now going to see some monkeys, but that required us to pay up 20 pesos admission fee. So we had to pay up 20 pesos and this included a playground which you can be part of and be playing on. So it was worth it. But before we go in, we had to put some protective thingy-mabobber in our shoes. Outfit check, guys. 
Outfit check. There was also a Lar Gibbon who I, um, I had a dance battle with. He was staring at me, man. As you can see, he was staring at me because I was doing these weird dances. You know what I mean? Look, it's bangers. There was also a baboon, but he was shy. He was hiding behind this rock. As you can see, he's a, it's a baboon. It's a baboon. There were also the Philippine monkeys. We did not record them because we were captivated. They were so close to us. So here are pictures. We also saw the ape sex, ape, ape sex, you dude, look at that guy, I'm like putting on his butt. Ape sex, ape sex, ape sex, ape foggy, uh oh. And then we got hungry, so we went to the aviary cafe. So currently we're here at the aviary cafe. Uh, um, I think uh, this cafe is right beside um, the aviary section because you can see there's a peacock behind it. Yeah, that was real. There was actually a peacock right beside the cafe. Like, as you can see, there's like this one peacock who is like showing off his uh, like feathers. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, this was that, yeah, that guy. That guy. He's, he's showing off his feathers. He was also twerking the whole entire time. I told you, they are twerking. Dude, that guy is twerking on- oh, oh my- After having a really nice meal at the Aviary Cafe, we wanted to go to the reptile section of Manila Zoo. But little did we know, we were going to see a pond. Like, there's a pond full of coins, so we wanted to throw coins. <laughs> We also went to the butterfly garden and this garden consisted of different plants and butterflies. There were also different butterflies unlike behind this room there was like shelves of butterflies. I'm gonna send I'm gonna post a picture here. These butterflies were amazing. The butterfly. I'm gonna go meet uh, the different snakes and reptiles that are in Manila Zoo. Uh, they are um, in this building right here. It's the reptile part of the zoo and we're gonna go meet them. Honestly, I'm really excited to see an African bullfighting um, because Maya from LV Sanctuary has been teaching me a lot of facts about these different types of reptiles. So if you're a fan of animals, please check out LV Sanctuary. I've also learned a lot from Alvi Sakari. And now let's go into the reptile section. Come on in. Reptile <laughs> section. I really got excited when I saw this lizard. It was like genuine reaction. Like, hey, look, it's waving. It's waving. Oh my god, man. Look at that. It's like waving. <laughs> There was also a huge snake. I was really amazed. There, there, there were actually two of them. There, there was like two of them, and they got like, um, like they just ate. There's like you can see, like the engraving or like the form of a body in their body. Like, dude, they just ate. I swear. Dude. <laughs> 
There's another one. It's a big head. It's an animal. It was so cool seeing these animals, even though it's like for a little bit, I was really captivated of uh, how these animals exist. Like I didn't even know these guys could grow big, man. Look at me. <laughs> these were Burmese fighting and feel free to pause to read. Fighting. Hold on. It's the African bull fighting. So I was explaining what an African bullfighting is, but it was really uh, loud in the place, so I'm gonna explain it here. So an African bullfighting is a bullfighting, they're called bullfightings because their defense mechanism is to turn into a ball or like form their bodies into a ball. So usually when they turn into a ball, the people will just put them in their bags and then they will sell them either by the pet trade or they will be sold to something else. You know, they're gonna get money. So yeah, that's the, that's the, that's why they're called ball fightings. They turn into a ball. There are also more cool snakes in there. They're all like balled up, but here there are more snakes. True, true. There were also more big snakes and they just got fed. I think as you can see they're like they got like big body. They got they just got fed. That's true. True true true. Look, there's more snakes. There's actually more snakes in the corner up there, but more snakes. So that is the entire thing of Manila Zoo. Um, we're now going to be trying to head to the National Museum in Manila, which is currently nearby. Uh, I have heard that it's just four kilometers away. So we're going to go there and we'll catch you later on the National Museum. Well, obviously, the National Museum would be for another video. Thank you guys for watching this video, and it's our going to be our first video in this in this page in this website. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.